What's up guys, this is CH and welcome back to part seven of how to build a CMS with PHP. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about building relationships in our database so that our tables can interact with one another as well as our tables still being able to interact with our database that we created called Sterling. So we need to know that there are parent and child tables within our database. And we have three tables right here, information, pages, and users. And I wanna go ahead and create our table pages to be the child table of the parent table information. Okay, let me reword this. I want this to be our parent table and I want pages to be its child table. So to do that, we need to add a another field to our child table. So I'm going to click on pages because this is what we want our child. This is our child table. And I'm going to go ahead and create another field. So I'm going to add one field. You can either add it to the end of the table at the beginning or after ID. And I want to go ahead and add it after ID because we're going to add an ID table and I want all our IDs to be together. So I'm going to click go. And what am I going to call this? I'm going to call this information, information underscore ID. And the length, I think we had it set to three. And of course, we want this to be an integer because we're counting IDs. And that's all we need to do. We don't need to put auto increment. We don't need to add a primary key to this because we already have our primary key set to ID. And there we go. Okay, it just showed up. Perfect. Okay, it showed up right underneath our field ID. Underneath it is the one we just created called information underscore ID. Okay, so our database is like 99.9% .9 done and we're all ready pretty much to start creating our application. So good luck with this, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.